In this video, we'll learn how to make sequences in Premiere Pro. Sequences are a fundamental part of any project you'll make in Premiere. They allow us to combine multiple clips containing audio and or video, as well as images and other graphics, all together in the timeline panel. There, we can make edits like adjusting the in or out points of a clip, adding transitions between clips, adding effects, layering, and many other edits. To make a new sequence, we need to be within an existing project. So here I've got the week 14 demo project open, and I've imported some clips that I'd like to build together into a sequence. From the menu bar, I can click File, New, Sequence, or use the keyboard shortcut Command-N on Mac, or Control-N on Windows. In the New Sequence dialog, we need to make sure we give our new sequence a name. So down at the bottom, I'll name this and be sure to include my last name. Then I'll go back up to the top and make some settings for my sequence. So these settings control things in the sequence like the audio quality, the pixel dimensions, the frame rate, etc. Under the Sequence Presets tab, we have the option of pulling in preset settings. So a good option for this week's project is the ARRI 1080p 30 preset. This gives us a sequence with a frame size of 1920 by 1080 pixels, a frame rate of 30 frames per second, and an audio sample rate of 48,000 samples per second, or 48,000 hertz. So that should be just fine for what we need. If you don't have that preset, or if you'd like to make settings manually, you can click on the Settings tab and do it yourself. So in our case, we'd like the time base to be 30 frames per second, the frame size to be 1920 pixels horizontal by 1080 pixels vertical, the pixel aspect ratio to be square pixels, the fields to be progressive, the display format set to 30 frames per second time code, the audio sample rate set to 48,000 hertz, and the audio display format set to audio samples. Once we set those, either through the Sequence Presets tab or the Settings tab, we can click OK to create our new sequence. Anytime we create a new sequence, it will be automatically loaded into the timeline panel and set to be the active sequence. So I can see here, the sequence I just made is active, and I know that because the name is bolded and underlined in the timeline panel. Here, I could start working in that sequence, adding clips, making edits, etc. And if this is the only sequence in my project, I'll only see that one. In this case though, I've got a different sequence that I've already made, and I can jump to that in the timeline panel just by clicking on its tab. Now, there's really no limit to the number of sequences you could have within a project. And for this week's assignment, you'll probably only need one. But if you happen to have multiple and you don't need them all open, you can just click the X icon next to its name in the timeline panel to close it. Now, this doesn't actually remove the sequence from my project, it just closes it from being edited in the timeline. And I can still find all of the sequences in my project through the project panel. So if I wanted to bring one back into the timeline panel for editing, I can simply double click on it from the project panel to open it back up again. Okay, that's how to make sequences in Premiere Pro.